Mac. Art investors gearing up for huge auctions next week with nearly $2 billion worth of works hitting the block. And with newfound wealth, thanks to the surge in the likes of stocks and cryptocurrencies, buyers should be ready to pay a premium. Robert Frank joins us now with that story. Robert. Melissa, Christie's just in the last few minutes passing the $1 billion mark for the week. Sotheby's another billion dollars to go. So we're going to blow past that $2 billion. Last night was the biggest auction at Christie's in over seven years. Now, the star was a portrait by Gustav Kaibot that went for $53 million. That was way above the estimate. Dealers and collectors say the combination of low interest rates, massive wealth creation from, as you mentioned, stocks and crypto, and art as a hedge against inflation is creating record demand. I see the market as extremely strong, and I see the demand for works of this quality has never been more acute. I think coming off of the pandemic, this a lot of the newfound wealth and a lot of the structure of what we, what we are seeing in Asia and elsewhere shows a real flight to quality that we've never seen before. Now, the big headlines will be Monday night when the most expensive collection ever to auction comes up at Sotheby's. That's the Maclo collection expected to go for more than $600 million. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. The Giacometti sculpts are here going for perhaps up to $80 million. And an Andy Warhol that Linda Maclo bought in 1995 for $850,000, that is set to go from between 40 and $60 million. By the way, for those investors counting at home, that is eight times better than the S&P over that same period. Melissa? Wow, that's quite, quite an outperformance, Robert. Is there any sense of where this wealth is coming from, where the buyers are coming from geographically? So China is really strong. Everyone thought with all the sort of difficulties in China right now that we wouldn't see many buyers in Asia. That is super strong, but it's mainly in the U.S., and what I'm hearing is a lot of younger buyers, people under 40, who really weren't collecting or bidding prior to the pandemic. We don't know. Maybe that's crypto wealth. Maybe it's stock wealth. But there is a whole new group of collectors that started buying online and is now going for these big trophy works. So it's all across the board, but especially strong in North America. Wait a minute. Those younger buyers aren't going for NFTs as opposed to Giacometti? Oh, they're buying those, too. They're buying the sneakers. They're buying the board apes. They're buying, they, they'll take a board ape and a Picasso. They're buying everything. D diversified art portfolio. Robert, good to see you. Thanks so much.